Hello there children and welcome to the EYFS at Home Bedtime Story with myself Jude and Team Lammy. We've got a lovely Christmas story for you today. You already know this story I'm sure but I've given it a bit of a Christmas feel. So this is the gingerbread man at Christmas. Here we go. Long, 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 long ago in the North Pole Father Christmas and Mrs Christmas lived in a little hut and every day about now when they weren't busy making toys they'd have a cup of tea and a biscuit. One day Mrs Christmas said I'm a bit fed up with biscuits I'm going to make gingerbread. Oh yummy said Father Christmas my favourite and so Mrs Christmas washed her hands. Can you wash your hands? She got down her bowl. Have you got your bowl? She poured in the ingredients and then she got her spoonie ready and she mixed it and mixed it and mixed it and then she put her hands in and she squashed it and squeezed it and kneaded it and rolled it into a ball and put it on the table and then she got a rolling pin. Have you got your rolling pin? Are you ready? She rolled it this way and this way. She rolled it this way and that way and then she cut out of the mixture a gingerbread man with currants for eyes, cherry pieces for buttons and she popped it into the oven to cook. While it was cooking, Father Christmas rubbed his tummy and said, mmm, that smells delicious, I can't wait to eat it. Inside the oven, the gingerbread man thought, hang on a minute, I don't want to be eaten by an old man and an old lady, Father Christmas and Mrs Christmas can eat something else. And so, when Mrs. Christmas opened the oven door and pulled out the tray, the gingerbread man jumped up, jumped down and ran out the door. If you know the words, join in. Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He ran and ran and ran. He ran past Rudolph the reindeer. Hello, said Rudolph, where are you going in such a hurry? Well, said the gingerbread man, I wouldn't let Father Christmas eat me or Mrs Christmas and I won't let you eat me either. You ready? Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me and the gingerbread man. He ran and ran. This time he ran past Cadero the elf. Where are you going in such a hurry? asked Cadero. Well, said the gingerbread man, I wouldn't let Father Christmas eat me or Mrs Christmas or Rudolph and I won't let you eat me either and off he ran run run as fast as you can you can't catch me I'm the gingerbread man he ran and ran and ran this time he ran past Flossie the fairy hello said Flossie where are you going in such a hurry well said the gingerbread man I wouldn't let father Christmas eat me or Mrs Christmas I wouldn't let the elf eat me or Rudolph and I won't let you eat me either. Off he ran. Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Uh oh. The gingerbread man came to a river, an icy cold river. I can't swim, said the gingerbread man. If I go in there I'll get wet and soggy and I will sink. Just then along came a polar bear. Where are you going in such a hurry? asked the polar bear. Well, said the gingerbread man, I wouldn't let Father Christmas eat me or Mrs Christmas. I wouldn't let the elf eat me or Rudolph or the fairy and I won't let you eat me either. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. But there was nowhere to run. I don't want to eat you, said the polar bear. I want to help you. Hop on my back and I'll take you across the river. So the gingerbread man got onto the polar bear's back and off they set. Are you ready to swim? They, now polar bears swim like this. Can you do that? They swam and swam and swam. I'm still getting wet, said the gingerbread man. My feet are in the water. Hmm, and the polar bear, hop on my neck, you'll be fine. They swam and swam and swam. I'm still getting wet. Hmm, hop on my head, said the polar bear, you'll be fine. So the gingerbread man hopped onto 
the polar bear's head. They swam and swam and swam. I'm still getting wet. Is that my toes? Hop on my nose, said the polar bear. You'll be perfectly safe. So the gingerbread man hopped onto the polar bear's nose and he swam and swam and swam and as soon as the polar bear got to the other side of the river he flipped up his nose and he gobbled down the gingerbread in one tasty yummy delicious mouthful and when the reindeer and the elf and the fairy and father christmas and mrs christmas all arrived there was nothing left to eat so they had to go back to their little hut and have a cup of tea with a boring old biscuit. The end. Oh, children, we hope you enjoyed that Christmas edition of The Gingerbread Man. Sleep tight now. We'll see you again.